Hi folks, Rich Bassini from RGBassini.com. Come to you today with the demo or intro uh, for the Epson Wi-Fi 2540 all-in-one printer. And I just want to go over uh, some brief stuff with you, with you on it and tell you a little about it. Um, I'll explain a little further in detail as I go along as to why I can't give a whole full uh, you know, pro product layout on this unit because uh, there is something that needs to be done. Uh, that's what I want to talk to you about. So this is what I got in here. Um, I picked this up and at uh, the thrift store, <clears throat> and I very rarely come a good, you know, come across clean, exceptional, like new printers. This was a first. I mean, that I could honestly say. I mean, I sold printers before, but this one's like brand new to me. It's like brand spanking. I didn't know if it was you had a lot of use on it or whatever, but I just want to go over with you. <clears throat> um, it comes with the user's guide. Of course, it has some markings on it. Okay, as you can see, there's a little marking, but it does come with the quick guide. What well, quick guide, anyway? Okay. Um, it comes with the uh, printer cable that looks like it was never used. You would, you know, attach it to attach your uh, computer. It has the USB connector here. Okay. Of course, you got your power cord. This is unraveled, but. It was, it's brand new. Like I said, it's, you know, I had to unravel it to test it out. This is all brand new. It's not like this wasn't, they didn't put like an old cable in there. They pair it up. This here is the, for the telephone, because it is an all the one. It's got the fax on there as well. So you can see this here was never unraveled, unused, you know, taken apart and whatever. And what I want to do is I'm going to put this stuff on the side. And I'm going to plug it in. And I just want to tell you a little about it. I don't want to make this too, too long, this video. I keep saying it all the time, folks. I'm, I'm sorry because sometimes my videos turn out to be a lot longer than expected, but <clears throat> this is what we got going on here. I'm going to plug this in to the printer, and I'm going to just give you a little demo on um, it working. Where is the outlet over here? I'm sorry, folks. All right, just got to plug it in over here. Oh, there it is. It's underneath. <laughs> And I have a cord right over here, so we can plug it in. All right. I'll try to do this as quick as I can, but can't make promises. <clears throat> okay, first off, I want to just tell you a little condition. It's been sitting on my desk here, so um, it's a little dusty. I'm going to move the uh, webcam down a little here so you can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> okay, here you have the, all right, this is the back. I want to just point out the condition of the overall condition of this unit. Um, it's it's pretty clean as you can see. Here you have your, um, for, I guess it's for the uh, the network connector uh, outlet. Here's no, I think this is it. This here, I guess is for, this is for the phone. Okay. Here you put your right over here. That's where the uh, printer cable goes and connects to your computer, the USB. Um, as you can see, the back is pretty clean. Um, a little dusty because, like I said, it's been sitting here. Because I, I want, I've been wanting to get this up on YouTube, on uh, eBay. I want to do the YouTube video uh, all about it as well. The condition, overall condition, is nice, clean, as you can see. All right. Over here. Sorry about the dust, folks. I've been wanting, like I said earlier, I've been wanting to try to get this up on the computer. I mean, uh, on YouTube and uh, eBay, and uh, haven't had that luck with it. You can see the the item is very clean. It's like brand, it's like brand spanking new, to be honest with you. Now, there is one little floor on it that I can see here. It's got a light. I don't know if it's this side here. There's like a little scuff mark. I don't know if it's this side or this one here. I know I see it somewhere here. That's how I'm seeing things. <laughs> no, I mean, no, seriously, where's a little... Oh, yeah, right over here. It's very light. It's so light, you can't hardly see it, but it's right up here. Which, of course, doesn't affect the printing or anything. Okay. Um, <clears throat> here's the inside of it. Yeah, well, here's your, here's your thing. Y you know, I don't think, to be honest with you, my personal opinion, I don't think this, this printer was ever used. And... The reason why I'm saying it is because everything is, is too clean. Like, like I don't think the scanner was used because you might find paper filaments in there, like, you know, like paper dust and things, things of that nature. Um, 
this, I mean, it's just too clean. I mean, if you're the buyer of this printer and you buy it, and when you get home, I think you're going to agree with me. You're going to say the same thing. I don't, it, to me, it doesn't look like it was ever used, I'll be honest with you. That's my personal opinion. I mean, I, I said, well, the booklet's out and that, and, you know, and everything else is there. And when I turn it on, you're going to see that it's going to ask for a cartridge. Now, here's the thing with this here. I had my own, I used my own connector, a printer cable to connect it. I can't make a demo, you know, to show you that it prints, makes copies, okay? I can't show you that because I don't have the, um, the magenta cartridge. For some reason, it won't let me go that route. I can't go any further than that. I was able to, I have a Windows 10 operating system on my computer. There's no CD software that comes with this, okay? Just to give you a heads up. So if you get it, and yeah, I don't, I don't want, you know, you don't want you to, you know, email me saying, hey, I got this here, I got the printer, but I didn't get no, uh, you know, no, um, you know, installation dish with it. It didn't have it. When I picked it up, it didn't have it. I was hoping to have something like that, but it didn't. But you know what? Windows 10 detected it, picked it up. You know, you have to do the printer configuration, okay? So, it, it, but it works though. Believe me, it works. Um, I was able to scan, but because I'm doing on a webcam and stuff like that there, I'm not going to go set the whole thing up. It does scan, and the scan comes out nice and crisp and clean, okay? Again, you're going to have to set it up, though. If you get it, you can read the use guide. I know how to do these things. I'm pretty familiar with printers and stuff like that. So I was able to configure it to make it scan and stuff like that. It's not that hard. I mean, you know, you just got to go through the format, and you, you know, you'll, you'll get it. Believe me, it's not, it's not that difficult. Um, when I was trying to do a printed test on it, like to print out a copy sheet, like to do the test to see how it comes out, and you know, you usually get like a little this congratulations, blah, blah, with the printer and so on and so forth. Like HP has that there. Um, I wasn't able to get past that part. Um, it does, the Wi Fi does work. I'm using Verizon, uh, the Fios, and uh, I have the Wi Fi area here, and this is a Wi Fi printer. And when you click it on and it says detect or, find, or search for Wi Fi, it picked it right up right away, okay? So that works, the scanner works. I was able to get, the ink must is dried out, I guess. Well, it does have some ink in it, but it pointed out the magenta. That's the one that you need. You would have to buy, if you buy this printer, if you are gonna be the bidder of this buyer, you know, the, this printer, make sure if you do get the magenta, or if you wanna get the whole kit at this time, at this point, you might, you might wanna get the whole thing. It's the Wi-Fi 2540, okay? Um, in my personal suggestion, I would go get the whole kit, the whole printer. You don't have to buy Brother, you don't have to buy from Epson, I'm sorry. You don't have to buy from Epson. You could get it off eBay, you can get the, uh, I, I buy from my HPs, and I got a Brother printer, I have a laser, and uh, I use, I, I buy off the eBay. I buy no, the non-brand stuff, the aftermarket, and it works fine. Make sure, one word to the wise, make sure you get it with the chip, the ink level chip in it. That's all I'm saying. Uh, even with that, there's a little configuration. Um, when I buy my ink cartridges from, uh, you know, off eBay, I, even though I get the ink level chips on them, uh, I still have to configure my printer to work it to make it recognize it. But once you do it, it's fine, okay? But if you want to stick to it and you don't want to go through all that trouble, then you can get the, the regular Epson printer uh, cartridges. But again, if you're going to buy it, it's for the Wi-Fi 2540. Now, I'm going to power it on. Okay. Okay, you can see it. Can you see that in there, folks? It's that light. So much, it's too white here. I'm sorry. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to handle this thing so much. I don't want to take a chance of getting it dropped. I'm sorry about that, folks. There's so much glare in here. But you can see it works. Um, let's see what it's saying over here. Let me read it so I don't think you can see it on that side there. It's saying over here, okay, you need to replace the following ink cartridge. And it's coming up with the magenta. I don't know if you can see that. I'm really sorry about this, folks. I'm trying to get this thing to see it, and uh, I'm not having good luck with it. It's too much glare here, but that's what's telling you. You need to replace the uh, magenta. Okay. Um, when you, if you wanted to make a copy, like if you hit over here, let me move this a little down a little more so you can see what I'm talking about here. If you move, if you hit this button that says press OK here, I don't know if you can see it. See this? The glare. Too much glare. Uh, let me just try something. Hold on for a second, folks. I don't know if this is what's causing it, but there's a lot of glare there. 
All right, still can't see it. Anyway, it's telling you over here to um, hit the OK button on it. And when you hit the OK button, which is here, you'll get another response to it. Sorry, I gotta do it this way, folks. I really, I'm doing. I'm using a webcam. I have a regular camera, that a digital camera. I should just shoot this thing with a regular camera. But anyway, it's telling you to replace now or re remind me later. Okay. So when you hit the OK button again, when you hit this OK button, um, it says replacing cart. Okay, I actually hit the wrong one. It says replacing cartridge. I didn't want to do that just now. All right, I'm gonna press the OK button again because we don't have it right now. It says changing in cartridge. Okay, um, I can't do it because I don't have the cartridge. But anyway, that's the that's the situation right now with this printer. Um, yeah, that's it's telling you. Yeah, I know it's gonna hit okay, okay. And then what you got to do is you got the arrows to scroll down, and you hit the okay button, <clears throat> and it'll say remind me later. Okay, now you get the window that says um, to make copies. It says over here letter, plain paper. Uh, what do you call it there? So I'm, I'm looking upside down. Standard quality account, whatever. It's giving you all that information there. Um, you can't print. And if you do try to print, you put it in there and you hit this key here, or the black and white, whatever. Even if you want to print. Now, the black cartridge, it, it's okay. But when you hit this, it says uh, you need to replace. It won't see, it won't let you get past that. Now, um, when I first got it home, I tested it. It did print out a piece of paper. I can't find it. I discarded all, all the other papers. It just printed out little quick colors on there, okay? And uh, that's as far as I got with it. Now, again, if you are the lucky bidder of this printer, you might want to um, buy the cartridge ahead of time if you just want to try it with the one. Unless you don't want to make the investment. You say, well, I don't know if I want to make the investment. That's up to you. But the printer itself, the printer itself is in good clean condition. Um, it does work. It scans. Um, if you hit the button for Wi-Fi search, I wish I can get this here to, uh, well, first I have to be okay. Let me go back here. I have to get out of this, this window here. I have to stop button. Uh, go back. Yeah, it takes a little, okay. I got, I'm trying to, uh, let me just hit this off again because I'm getting all this here. Now it's saying turn it off. It's turning off. Boy, I really, I really feel bad about the uh, the glare. <laughs> anyway, um, it does detect. It does, like you see, it does power on, even though you can't see it too good, fortunately. Uh, it does power on. You can see that there. Yeah, it does power on. Yeah. Okay. It's telling you you're gonna keep getting that reply. It's gonna tell you that it needs that you want to replace that magenta cartridge ink. Uh, in cartridge, I say. But anyway, if you hit this here, proceed, remind me later. I'm trying to get the part there where you could just do um, the uh, Wi Fi here. Let's see if I can get that to work. Okay, see here? Well, you can't see it. It's got the, it tells you Wi Fi search. And when you hit the Wi Fi search, when you do this search here, um, let's see, Wi Fi search wizard. Let's see if you print OK. I think you got to hit OK, right? Okay, it'll say searching. Okay, I really am sorry about the video, folks. I really am. I apologize. Um, it's searching for the networks. <clears throat> now, you see here, I don't know if you can see it in there. It's saying Fios, that's mine. Fios HP, uh, HSP, whatever, uh, 65. That's mine. It does detect it. Okay, it does work. Now, if I had the scanner hooked up to it, the cable hooked up, you would see that this scans. So, the printer is functional and like I said you know if you are the lucky bidder of this printer and you want to buy it I will be more than happy to send to you all I ask in return is if you get it it will be properly packaged to get to you know to get to you safe and sound and you know without any damage on it all I ask is if you you're not happy with it or you can't configure it or you can't figure it out whatever um, you're more than welcome to send it back, okay? Um, if you buy the Epson cartridges, you know, or, the, or if you want to buy the one, or you buy the whole kit, whatever, it might be a good investment, whatever. Or if not, I, you know, 
I'll pay for, I'll pay for the Epson print, you know, the magenta one. But I mean, if you're going to buy the whole kit, I you know that's I won't go that route. But um, I'm sure you're not going to have a problem with this printer. Like I said, it's like in brand new condition, and uh, it, it works. It, it does work. It does scan. Um, I have, like I said, I already have, I hooked it up to my computer. You got to do the configuration on it, but it does work. And uh, it is a nice, clean condition. And I guarantee that if you if you are the lucky bidder and you get this home, you will agree with, with me that this is in like new condition. I mean, it's very clean. I very rarely come across printers this clean. I mean, this looked like they just someone took it out of the box and they just left it there. It was I, I had to get it. You know, they had other ones there, but you know when you go to thrift stores, sometimes they're cracked or they got big scratches on them and stuff like that or the back door or whatever that this thing might be have a crack on I see one that had a crack I don't know why so I guess people want to they'll buy for parts or whatever but I don't buy things like that like I say in my videos if this is the first time coming to my you know eBay auctions uh, site whatever uh, I try to get for the most part good clean things and this this Epson printer I wanted to keep for myself but I just bought ink for my HP and I had a this HP printer I have the HP 6500 it's been good to me it works it's a lot what I like about this it's it's a lot smaller than my HP and that's a small one the one I have is small um, just to give you just an idea I have a uh, one of those tape measures here I just want to show you really quick <clears throat> I have to direct the reverse on here if you look at the size of it not counting this part of course it's 15 inches. You see that, folks? See it on this side here? 15 inches. That's that's the length. Of it. Okay, I mean the, the width, whatever length. The width. The width. I'm not going to go from this part. You know, I'm not going to go from this part. I'm going to go from here, of course. Yeah, look at look at this. All right, I'm not. I I well, I guess you got to go with the back because you got to figure space. So, it's it's what around 12 and a half inches from there. See what I'm saying? I mean, if you count it up here, then it's, then it's like, what, well, whatever, 11, 11 and a half. But anyway, I go by the widest part. But look at that. I mean, it's really economical. I mean, like, as far as space-wise, too. You don't have a lot of space. And my print of my HP is about 20 inches, and that's a smaller model. So um, this is what you got going on here. Um, <clears throat> the Just to give you a little, I don't know if I showed you, but I'll do it again. Um, it is clean on the side here. I saw that little scuff. It's on, I think, I don't know if, no, it's on the other side, I believe. Okay. I don't want to keep handling this, it's folks, because I'm always afraid things are going to get damaged on it. But um, I think this is, yeah, I think it's, this is the one I was talking about. I think it's a light scuff. You know, it's so light, I can hardly re keep, re every time I see it, I, I can't, I try to find it, I can't seem to find it. But you can see the unit's very clean, okay. Um, when you open up the change of cartridges, you, uh, now that's the thing, I got to figure out how to, I forgot how to do that there again with that there. I guess when you're doing the Wi-Fi, you got to stop it. Uh, let me see when you close this here out. I'm sorry, folks. I'm just trying to see here because if you get this, you're going to probably want to know anyway how to change the cartridges. Um, I know when usually you open up the carriage moves over here. Print the carriage moves. Yeah, you go over back and forth. All right. Yeah, and the operation is really smooth. It really is. I know there's a way to change it there, I'm just not sure how to do it. I'm not going to play around with it right now. Um, okay, to proceed, whatever, replace. Let's see what happens when it says replace now. I don't, like I said, I don't like to play around with these things. Okay, I guess when you hit the button, it'll move the carriage out. Let's see. Okay, there it goes on that side. So you see what happens, folks, when you hit the replace. Now, it's asking for the magenta. It's asking for this one here. I wish I had a cartridge to put in there. Unfortunately, I don't have one. Um, I don't want to... I know it clips out of here. It's a clip. It's like it snaps in there, I think. Whatever. Well, this is the one it needs right here. And uh, I don't want to keep playing with it, but you'd have to pop it out here, and that's what you got to replace on there. So let me see here. Oh, there you go. This is the one you need. Okay, that's the cartridge you need. Um, yeah, that's it. See, if you can see that there. But that's what that's the one you need. That's what it's asking for. It is light. There's nothing in it. So, and you know, you might be saying, well, if you're thinking this is new, why would a cartridge? Why would you have to replace the cartridge? 
Cartridges eventually, if you don't use the printer, they dry out. I mean, you could have a brand new printer or a printer that's hardly used. And if you just, I had to have one mine. I bought new cartridges from my printer, my HP. And I don't use that a lot. I use my laser a lot because I print off labels. I print off the mailing, uh, the, uh, the the shipping labels and stuff like that. I use my laser. I don't use color because look how small you be going, You'll be going through these things like no time. But the reason why I'm saying this is like, I don't think it was hardly used and I still feel it's considered new is because if you look in the inside, you don't see any paper dust. You don't see, you don't see any kind of debris in it whatsoever. It's, it's, I mean, it's clean. I mean, I don't think, you know, you, people might say, well, if it's in the thrift store, if it was there, it was probably somebody, maybe something's wrong. I, I believe not. I don't believe that to be the question. I, I think that would be the, uh, the, the reason why it's there. I think sometimes people get things, they upgrade, and they don't want it, and, you know, they figure, hey, you know, let me get something else. Maybe, they, maybe they're, not, they don't, they're not an Epson. I'm an HP person, but I like this Epson, okay? But um, this is what we got going on here. Again, it needs, if you're going to do it, you know, if you're going to buy this thing, you're going to need to get the uh, magenta, okay? It's got the user guide, it comes with the user guide, power cable, uh, the printer cable, and it comes with the phone line cable. And uh, there's no software, like I said, there's no software with this here, with this item. So if you get it, but again, if you're using Windows 10, it will detect it, okay? You have to go into your settings, control you know, settings there, and you go to uh, printers, and you'll see it. It might say add printer or whatever, but 9 out of 10, uh, it, well, at least with my computer, I'm using an HP computer, by the way, uh, it detected it right away. And you gotta, you know, you configure it. But once you get it to work, like I said, I did a scan on there. It did a nice scan job. The thing came out nice and crisp and clean. There's no problem with it. Um, in case you're wondering, here is your tray here for you. Now, paper doesn't go in here, folks. This is where the paper comes out. I thought on my, see, so here's the difference. Now, on my HP, my paper goes in this way, on this, in this, in this slot, like this, on my HP. Okay, I got the HP 6500. It goes in. This, this is where your paper would be stored. Here on this one, on the Epson, it comes out. It comes out the opposite. It comes out this way. Whatever. That's how mine works anyway. Well, mine has the tray here, but it goes in and then it comes right back out and the circles on top there. It's got a tray on it. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. So now, if you're wondering where the paper goes on this unit, okay, over here. Very careful with this here. Okay, you got these little things that say okay. This is where, well, they're just telling you, I guess, what to do. They're trying to show you stuff here, like how to slide the little uh, guide in here. You lift this up, okay. You lift this up, and then you do like this, and like that. Okay. So this is how it looks. All right. That's how that's how the uh, the, uh, the thing looks. There you go. I don't know. My, my webcam is not working properly. I don't think it either scans in right away, focuses in for some reason. It's not. But that's what you got going on. Um, I just want to put that down. Over here, in the inside, you have that little guide here. This is your guide, your slide guide over here. This is if you got different set of paper settings, like if you want to put an envelope, I guess, in here. I guess you could put your envelope in there and feed it through. So that's how you have it. My, my, my HP doesn't have this here. Not, not, not in the back. Mine's in the front over there. You would slide in the front. Okay, but that's what you got. That's what that blue thing is. That's to, this thing here is to adjust the, the width of the, you know, the. If you're gonna put a letter in here, whatever. Okay, and that's the way that goes. If you get different size paper. Okay, and that there is just the. After you close this, like that, this covers it. Okay, so that's where your paper goes. In case you're wondering. When I first seen, I said, oh, I'm sorry, so oh, maybe the paper goes in here and. It doesn't come over here. It's not going to come on the top here. This is where your scanner goes. You know, the scan paper goes in here. This here has the adjustment thing here too. Um, you put a slide this here. Well, not really much, really. Just slide. I guess that's just to keep the eight and a half by eleven. In there. You can't go any more than that. That's why they have it. That's fixed. It's adjustable, but it stops right there, which would be the eight, I guess the eight and a half by eleven, or whatever. I don't know what other kind of thin paper you got. And you got, of course, your your uh, where it goes in, and this is where it comes out. After it scans, it comes out to this. It doesn't come out here. That's where your copies come out. But that's what you got going on, folks. Um, if you have any questions with it, like I said, I do guarantee my work. You know, my, my, the things I sell. Um, all I'm asking, like I said, if you get it and you try it out, you know, you're going to be the, the buyer of this here. You're going to need a magenta ink cartridge. You just want to go for the. If you just want to make the investment, just to test it out for yourself, 
and you want to make that investment, you say, well, I'll just buy the magenta cartridge. I don't know how the other ones are. It's a, that's the only one it's detecting right now, the magenta. So it just may need that one. I don't know if the other ones have the ink. I didn't really play around with them, but that's what it's saying it needs. Again, if you have any questions, I'm sorry, folks, for this here. I'm looking at a printer. I just want to get back over here again. And again, like I always say, folks, if you have any questions uh, regarding this item, you could email me at rjpassini at verizon.net. Um, I hope this helped. Um, like I said, if you're first time coming to you know my auctions on eBay, uh, I do videos, I do demos, I do intros, I do sneak peek videos, and uh, I do these videos to point out the conditions of the item, what it may have or may not have, if it's missing anything, if it is got minor flaws on it, like scratches or little things or whatever. I try not to get items that are broken up or anything like that. Like this here, I'm not. I wouldn't sell, even though I can't get past that part, the printing part of it. I'm not going to sell if a, a part's not working because it does work. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to sell if a part's not working. It works. It's a. It's a functional printer. Um, the only thing is, if you get it and you bring it home and you do all the settings on it, you say, "Hey, I got this. I got the printer from you. I try so it doesn't work." Take your time and research it. Don't jump into it because when I. When I first got this home, when I first got this home, I plugged into my computer and my uh, Windows 10, it does detect it. But I was trying to get it for some reason. I said, oh, I didn't pick up the scan. But I had other conflicts because I have other printers. I have the HP printer, the 6500. I have the brother printer, which is an HL2240 printer. And I have also a Sony digital printer. And add another printer to that i have the dymo twin la laser uh, label writer 450 twin turbo printer so you're talking four printers here right here alone okay so i had to go in and make some minor configuration not that i took off i didn't disable the other printers but i had to add this as a default printer so you're gonna have to play around with it you know if you're not familiar with it maybe you could have somebody a friend or relative that could help you out with it and just set it up it does work it scans it does the Wi-Fi detection, as you can see. Well, I don't know if you can see it in this thing there, but it does. It does work. Uh, it picked up my Wi-Fi you know, pretty quick, as you can see. Is I like I said, I'm using FiOS, so it does work. The unit does work. Just to, and and then again, um, if you decide it's not for you, please keep the packaging and the way it comes packaged to you. Please send it back to me. That's all I ask because if this thing comes back broken because it wasn't properly packaged and stuff like that, I'm stuck with it. Now I will have to sell it for parts not working, and I don't want to do that because the unit does work. And, and, and I assure you, if you are the buyer of this printer, you're going to get it home and say, you know what, this printer is like, and this is in new, like new condition. Okay, it, it, it's really a nice printer. Okay, so that's all I can tell you about it. Um, if you need any additional information, if there's something I left out, if you have a question, like maybe my, you know, maybe I left something out in this demo or this intro video, whatever, and. Uh, you know, you might say, well, you might come back with a question saying, you know, I need to know something else. About it. Please email me, uh, rjpassini at verizon.net. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed with it if you are the lucky bidder of this here, the buyer. I think you'll be very happy with it. Um, and that's all I can tell you about it. I mean, I wish I could go through the whole format and set up the screen of my digital camera and show you that it does scan. It, it, it does. Believe me, take my word for it. It does scan. Um, I, the only thing I can't get past to do, you know, on this on the demo, is I can't do a copies. I can't take a, a piece of paper and show you it's making a photocopy or color copy because for this, you know, for, this, for that because it needs that magenta ink cartridge, it will not let me go to any other further steps. Maybe you're a, an Epson wizard of these things. You maybe know a way around it, a workaround. I don't know that part, but uh, this is what I have. And uh, and I, if you like it, if you, if you like the video. Uh, you think was helpful you know give it a thumbs up if you like to subscribe to my channel because I do a lot of these videos on different things different topics you know if you want to subscribe that's fine you know um, that'd be great but this is all I can tell you about it folks um, you know that's all I can tell you <laughs> anyway thanks again for stopping by I'm sorry the the video took a little longer than expected and you know but I just wanted to be a little more in detail with it I just don't want to throw it out there and say this is what you're getting blah 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 you know it's clean that's it take it buy it and leave me alone you know i'm not like that i like to do these you know take the time to do these videos to show you what's actually what you're, what you're actually getting and that you're getting that you know that when you get it it's going to work i mean it's it powers up it does the, does what has to do 
you know that's why I do these demo videos um, it's to let the buyers know that hey you know this has to work I've seen it working in the video you know there's no trip photography here you know snow smoke and mirrors so to speak as that whole saying goes this is it what you see is what you get but anyway let me let you go thanks again uh, it, you know I appreciate you stopping by and taking the time and you have a great day and uh, take care now bye bye